there comes a point where you want to ask yourself, why do you want to become an actor? And there's a lot of reasons that a person would want to become an actor. So let's look at some of those reasons and let's try to expand the reasons why you'd want to become an actor. A lot of times, um, the reason why people want to become an actor is because they want to leave situations or find themselves in new situations, uh, which is healthy and uh, uh, quite exciting. Uh, but the, the real motivation uh, to become an actor needs to come from a place where you're able to expand how it is that you live. So every single time that you go and do acting, you're, there's a possibility that you'll fall into an unexpected experience. So if you can fall into this unexpected experience, it's exhilarating. This is exactly what most people most people why they want to become an actor and this is the reason why and how they don't know how to do that or they're struggling to learn it because it it's happened so rarely sometimes and this is after many many years and we're not talking two or three years normally sometimes experiences in acting can start to happen nearly right away within the next first few months but it really depends on how well you're training and whether or not you're able to achieve the experience and most people act and they don't have an experience now this is a this is a this is a real big issue because see if most people the reason why they want to become an actor in the first place is to be able to have experience but then when they act, they're not actually having an, an unexpected experience or they have an expected experience, but it's really not any good because it's not a real experience. Then they're going to be asking themselves this question a lot because they're not going to be very happy with their, with their work. And this is, goes down to the crutch of this issue and this question because there's a lot of ways to be able to achieve acting and the the approach to it is to be able to find your own personal approach in acting now what is your own personal approach in acting i don't know i mean you'd have to discover it and the only way to discover it is to be able to set yourself up to have unexpected or unanticipated realities happen in your work so the unexpected reality means that you don't expect it even if you expect a scene to go a certain way you might know the overall aspect of how the scene might go but you don't have any full expectation you don't know exactly what the experience is going to be look it's like going to choir you might know the songs, but you, you, when you sing it, you don't know what you're going to experience when you're there. It's the same thing with acting. You've got to be able to take yourself so that the, the height of experience is able to be constantly achieved. So, why do you want to become an actor is the question. But the other question is, how do you want to become an actor? Because if you can decide for yourself how to become an actor, if you can decide to yourself that you want to be the type of actor that goes through unexpected experience, then you can start to then achieve the answers and the desires of your goal. And that is, why do you want to become an actor? Because you want to be able to achieve experience. You're never going to be able to achieve experience if you expect it. And it takes trust of the people around you as well as yourself to be able to set yourself up to be able to have a full experience. Now, this is the reason for the existence 
of emotional preparation. Emotional preparation is the self-stimulation, self-emotional stimulation. The, it's, it's a thing that's internal. It's inside of you. And what you do is you heighten your ability for an internal stimulus through an active concentration. And then you get that active concentration and then you go and you interact with it. And you don't know what's exactly going to happen. You don't know how the scene's gonna come out. Even if you're using the same words every single time you do the scene or nearly the same words. And you wanna ask yourself, why do you want to become an actor? Because you want to ask yourself, how do you want to become an actor? And you want to be able to apply the type of actor that you want to become. So there's these wonderful actors that I have no problems with them, but they're very, very performance based. Some of them are very funny and they're stylistic actors or they're stylistic performers. And they've got all of these rules that they try and follow to try and make sure that their expressions come out in an anticipated way. And that's fantastic. And they have all kinds of joy doing it. And I think that's fantastic. But it's really honestly not for myself. It's just not what I want. It's not what I, I really, it's not how I want to do the why. It's not how I want to achieve being an actor because it, it's it's a little bit I see that they have great fun and great joy in, in doing performance work like that and I think it's fantastic but then what I've also seen I've seen many times actors that come with performance backgrounds into the work of Meisner backgrounds or, or um, into the work of this kind of style, which is the style of unexpected moments. And they come in as complete performers. No one all over the place or not, it depends, of, of, of all sorts of, of, you know, performing that they've done. And a lot of them come in and they're, they've received such a high in life, I think, from the performance that a lot of them come in and generally are, are half depressed. But that's just my opinion of it, which is real. And they, they don't know what type of actor they want to become. They were able to achieve the type of acting that they were doing. And then they come into the into the realism of realistic acting, into the realm of realistic acting, and they, they're, they're blown away. They don't know uh, how to express, sometimes they don't know how to express their appreciation for the fact that they found the how to their why. So why do you want to become an actor is right beside the question of how do you want to become an actor. And do you want to become an actor because you want to one-up somebody? Or you want to prove to somebody something? It's not at all having to do with internal stimulus. It's irrelevant. It's, it's a plaisé uh, goal to try and, uh, and, and surpass someone else just so that you can win the race. It doesn't make any difference. See, what makes a difference is internal meaning, being able to be brought out. And that means that talent gets developed. And when talent gets developed, you take your internal meaning and you're able to access it and you're starting to learn where your feelings are, where your meanings are, uh, where your emotions are. Um, the difference between your ideas and somebody else's, that's an, an interesting thing. And, and you want to be able to know more about yourself. And then you're able to emotionally stimulate. And when you're emotionally stimulated, 
then you're in a state of not knowing what the results are going to be. You don't have any idea what the, what the result's going to be or what the resolve of that's going to take or be. And then you take that element and you bring that into the work and you won't know what, what's going to happen because you're entered into a real-time experience. So you can call it Meisner all you want, which is great, and that's wonderful. Or you can call it realistic acting, or you can call it whatever else. But the thing is, is that the, the realism of an unanticipated moment has far more value in uh, acting and in life than a planned moment um, that uh, is, is performed or pontificated. Although that can be very hilarious, and there can be a lot of fun in doing that. But the best of the best people in all sorts of entertainment is absolutely the reality of people knowing that they want to be immersed in experience. So why do you want to become an actor if you don't want to be involved in experience? Or are you the type of actor that wants to be involved in experience? Because if you want to be an actor that's involved in experience, you're going to have to be put yourself in experiences that you have no idea what the result is going to be or the result is going to be. And that is putting yourself in a real-time circumstance. So when you're understanding the why, you're looking at the how so that you can then decide how it is that you want to become and what you want to do because Honestly, this has to do with human growth. And there's a lot of miracles that have happened in this work of acting in terms of the elements of human growth. And human growth, it's really the achievement of acting. It's, it's really the, the, um, the reward for acting. So if I have to answer the question for myself of why do I want to become an actor? It's because I want to immerse myself in uh, real-time experiences where I don't have fully uh, anticipated results. I don't know fully anticipated. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So I'm putting myself in a place where I'm going to learn more about who I am. And that has its own merits and it doesn't take away from anyone else either but it's it's not so that I can achieve over someone else it's so that I can achieve who I am myself within myself and also have interaction with that so uh, if that's helpful to you just let let me know and in, in the comments or however it works but the thing is is that Make sure that you're not just asking yourself the question, why do you want to become an actor? Ask yourself how you want to become an actor and understand the type of actor that you want to become. Because if, if you're interested in just memorizing lines and going out and performing them, you don't need to do the work of realism because you're involved in your own thing. You don't really need the, the acting of a realistic actor and you don't want to do the soul searching of, of trying to find out who you are. And you don't need to um, waste your time in trying to um, uh, develop human growth if that's not what you're into. So then in that case, then you should just go and just be probably stay very clear of any of the Meissner people. And you should probably stay very clear of anybody that's dealing with realism. And as the entire industry turns around and says that they all want to be able to achieve realism, but then at the same time that there's very little human growth, we're kind of in a paradox. So it's going to have to break in a way that actually is taking more into consideration the emotion. But if that's not your thing, then understand that and be able to steer towards learning the different styles because and this is great advice. If you take 
the ability to not want to choose to be able to grow as a human being and as an internal growth and uh, emotional life and all that. And you want to instead take your energy and you want to learn stylistic acting. So you want to learn Korean style, you want to learn this style, you want to learn that style, you want to learn all the different styles of acting. Then you can learn all the different styles of acting. And then you might end up 10 or 15 years down the road realizing that if you study more about yourself, you can start to apply differently to each of those different styles. So you would have just done the work backwards. So it's no harm, no foul, but it's a matter of staying where you're interested in and staying where you're interested wherever you're trying to align yourself. And this is the reason why you want to ask that question. Because you're able to then achieve something that's more than just yourself because you're able to at least learn all the different stylizations. Uh, and and this is a some something that you could want to consider.